Uh, we're following breaking news this morning in Greenville County. Authorities are searching for a 12 year old boy. The boy fell into the Saluda River yesterday afternoon. Sheriff Hobart Lewis says the boy was with friends at a common hangout spot near the river. The search began in the Dyer Lane area off Long Road where the boy supposedly fell in. And uh, the fire station where crews have been searching and staging for the search is going on. Nearly 100 people from multiple agencies have been assisting, including a dive team, drones and canines. Sheriff Lewis says these situations are always difficult, especially when young kids are involved. And one really big challenge, to be honest, is the fact these were very small kids that were down there playing and this happened. It surprised them. They go back, find an adult and get somebody to call the police. So you don't get a lot of information from those kids um, when they left the scene on what they saw or what was happening to the young man. They didn't see him resurface, but at some point did he? Um, was he a good swimmer? You know, getting that information from them is very difficult for sure. So that's a major hurdle. Sheriff Lewis says heavy rain earlier last night made the search more difficult. We will continue to bring you updates on this search as we learn more here on the air and at the WFF4 mobile app. It's 6.51 and right now an investigation continues into a mysterious explosion at a popular but controversial landmark in Elbert County. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation is saying that the Georgia Guidestones were initially seriously damaged and then demolished for safety concerns. And we have some video to show you here. Yesterday, the GBI released this security video that shows the explosion around 4 o'clock yesterday morning. A lot of viewers emailing us saying they heard it. Now, officials say this car was seen leaving the scene moments after the explosion. And here is an exclusive look from Sky 4 at the damage caused by the explosion. The explosion destroyed a large section of the Guidestones that sit just outside of Elberton on Georgia Highway 77. Again, later yesterday afternoon, officials demolished the rest of the Guidestones for safety reasons. Anyone with information about the explosion is asked to call the Elbert County Sheriff's Office or the GBI Athens Office. At 651, some Greenville businesses will be getting checks in the mail in the coming weeks. A new business license policy within the city says qualified businesses are eligible for an economic development grant. The city says that they're looking to actively support certain types of businesses, such as child care facilities. City Councilwoman Dorothy Dow tweeted recently, a lack of child care keeps parents from thriving in the workforce. Other business categories that will qualify for a grant include grocery stores in food desert areas, artists, retail, and manufacturing businesses. Well, an upstate school district will require students to use only clear backpacks. Lawrence County District 55 says it is an effort to improve safety at school. Students in extracurriculars like band and sports will be allowed to carry non-transparent bags for those items, but the district says all bags may be searched and there are size limits for non-transparent bags students can carry throughout the day. Things like lunch boxes, pencil cases and purses may not be bigger than nine by six inches. Colored transparent backpacks aren't allowed, but you can have colored straps. 6.52 now, breaking news this morning out of London. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson is resigning. This is according to the BBC. A Downing Street spokesperson says Johnson plans to address his country at some point later today. Johnson had vowed to stay in office, but pressure for him to step down had been mounting. More than 50 members of parliament had resigned in protest to his leadership recently. The latest scandal involves his handling of sexual misconduct allegations against a member of parliament. He was already under fire for breaching COVID lockdown rules in what's nicknamed Partygate. At 6.53, the WNBA's Phoenix Mercury held a rally for Brittany Griner yesterday. Griner, a longtime Mercury player, was arrested at a Moscow airport in February on charges of possessing cannabis oil. Griner has remained in Russia for the last five months, despite letters and petitions demanding her release. At the Bring BG Home rally, fans added their names to a petition calling on the White House and President Joe Biden to secure Griner's release from Russia. But it's important that President Biden and the State Department know that they have the full support of the American people to do whatever it takes to bring Brittany Griner home. Now, Griner's wife, Sherelle Griner, also spoke at the rally, vowing not to rest until Griner is home. Griner will appear in court in Russia today. 
Meanwhile, amazing video here. A North Carolina man is in custody after a two-hour police chase in Charlotte. Police say this chase started yesterday when they saw a stolen pickup truck speeding and swerving on the interstate. They say they followed that truck into a Walmart parking lot where the driver stole another car and took off. The suspect then crashed into a vehicle and took a third car, this SUV, and kept going. Police say another driver saw the chase and helped end it by ramming the suspect's stolen car. Charges for the suspect have not been announced. On to more incredible video, police body camera uh, footage has been released showing officers pulling a man from a burning car. This dramatic rescue took place just before 2 a.m. when New Jersey police officers responded to a car on fire. They discovered a man still inside the car, but were unable to open the driver's side door to get him out. Officers then moved to the passenger side of the vehicle and were finally able to drag the man through the window just as flames began to enter the car. Wow. Wow, incredible.